Dungeons and Dragons has always, always characterized for having some absolutely amazing, groundbreaking artwork. Not every single book, but we all remember the artwork of the first few books that we bought, and we are very aware of the origins of some of the most iconic works. This is not the first time that there is a coloring book, but this is the most recent that I've been able to find. It's been published by Candlewick Press. Um, it costs 21 Canadian dollars, I believe, yes, 14.99 US dollars, and about 10 pounds, British pounds, give or take. Um, it's a licensed product, so everything you see here is actually a proper, real d and artwork, and it's a book of about 100 pages, give or take. What do we have within it? Well, it's a soft cover, and from the very, very beginning, we get the line work, even in the, count, in the cover, in the back of the cover, that we can start painting. The paper is all right for pencils or crayons, even pastels properly, probably, but definitely not for um, watercolour. I don't think this is going to be absorbent enough. Um, Copic markers, probably, if you're not going to use both sides of the paper. I think the safest bit is to use pencils um, or markers, but yeah, they will probably run through if you apply too much of it. The drawings inside are absolutely, as you can expect, amazing really amazing line work and we can see a combination from the fairly complex to something more you know, simpler more iconic to really really fiddly to where is the one i'm looking for which i thought was absolutely amazing oh look at that look at the beholder so cool, so, so cool. And patterns, we get an awful lot of these patterns throughout the book. We get slightly simpler drawings as well. Oh, look at this, the rask, it's amazing. And we have some maps. Um, we also have some map in the Dyson Logos um, style that you can finish and do with them whatever you want. So there is a little bit for everything. There's a combination of everything that goes on in, in the Dungeons and Dragons realm. Yeah, a little bit of everything. And at the very, very back, we have um, smaller thumbnails that tells us exactly who the artist was, uh, where it was featured, each one of these illustrations. and some samples as to how the originals actually look like. So we can use them as reference should we wish to do so. As a coloring book, I think this is absolutely brilliant. I, I really love it. I wish it was a little bit easier to open in the middle, keeping this flat. It's going to make the, you know, the pages detach, which may not be a bad thing, I don't know. Um, but I wish it was a little bit easier to actually keep it flat. That, that would make it slightly easier to use, more comfortable. And uh, yes, some of the drawings are going to be quite hard if you are very young, if you're going to give this to a child. But I cannot imagine a child not having good fun with it. I can imagine an adult not having good fun with it. So if you're looking for something different, you know, you cannot play with your friends right now. If you want something to take away during your holidays, your vacations, I think this is a really, really sound investment. Coloring is really therapeutic. It's, it's good fun to do. And you could end up with something absolutely gorgeous. So come on, for 14, you know, $15, I think this is a really, really cool thing to buy. 
Um, thank you very much indeed for watching. If you have already done some samples, I'd love to see it. I'd really love to see what you have drawn or painted with this book. It would be fantastic. If you can hear some sounds in the background, that's my neighbors. They are also in lockdown at home and, you know, they talk. So sorry about that. Uh, I hope that you, the music is uh, getting everything away. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much indeed. Leave me your comments down there. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this book and show me the paintings that you have done with it. But until the next time, I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care. Thank you.